Hi everyone, welcome to Chorus House. Today we're going to be testing to see if I can change my 160mm rotor to a 140. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode. I need to change this rotor out for a 140. It's fairly straightforward, but I'm not sure if I've left enough cable when I built the bike so we're gonna go through how to do that today okay so first job i've got to do is get that six mil allen key in my through axle and take the front wheel off i'm not going to take the rotor off because if i can't take or change this then there's no point so first job we're going to do take off the caliper and the 160 shim uh, four mil allen key for this Okay, so that's off. Now I've just got to take out these bolts here, turn the shim around and re-bolt it through. When you're undoing them, be careful. There may be, in that little hole, there in the middle of the screen, there may be a little pin in there to stop the bolt coming out. Be wary of that. Okay, I've got the shim off, as you can see, up for 160. You just flip it over and up for 140. So the shim goes back on with 140 up. You just tighten up those bolts and then attach everything back onto the fork. What I can tell you is it's, it will fit. Um, there's not a lot of slack, but it will go in. So that's going to be perfect. It's only hand tight at the moment because obviously I've got to center the rotor on in the caliper. I've just got to change over the 140 here and the 160 here. Most of you, I'm assuming we'll have a center lock ring attachment for your rotor locks, but I don't. Um, I'm going to be using this tool. Um, so mine fits on the outside here. Just checking the 140 rotor for thickness. Um, Shimano minimum thickness is 1.5. I can't get that on the rotor. I can't get 1.5 on, but I can get the 1.8. So I'm well within tolerance good little tool to have so you know when your rotors are too thin okay so we've now got our 140 rotor on let's give it a spin yeah it's not really centered is it it's rubbing so that's not a problem what we'll do we'll try the first method which is undo these bolts here and here so it's loose put the brake on hard that centers the caliper over the rotor and then do the bolts up and then we'll do that method first. Okay, we've centered it up using that method and and um, it's pretty much rubbing all the way around. So what we're gonna have to do is look down the rotor which you might be able to see and you basically have to see where it touches um, it's pretty much touching the right hand pad as we look at it here so I've just got to shift over the caliper a little bit I'll just do that manually by releasing the bolt okay having played with this a number of times so there's like probably a millimeter to play with in there plus um, when I undo the bolt because I don't have a lot of slack on this hydraulic cable it it twists the caliper when I undo the bolt so I think that is a problem of my own design not leaving enough slack hydraulic cable even when the uh, wheel is turned if I let it go it pulls it straight so there's virtually no slack in there at all so yeah, that's my own fault for not for cutting it too short. Well, I didn't know I was going to change to 140, so for 160 it was fine. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye!